Hi, I'm Kyle Wilson, and I'm back with more of the best of Scotland. This time, it's Christmas, and we're exploring the local Scottish town of Blairgowrie, where we'll meet some of the locals who are handcrafting this festive season with love. Join us in this episode as we share the top five things that you can see and do right here in Blairgowrie during the festive season. Surrounded by the rolling green hills and the various crossroads that link the town to cities like Perth, Dundee, Glasgow and Edinburgh, it's a perfect destination for visitors all year round. From locally sourced to locally made food, products and services, this place is a role model for creative sustainability and where many independent artists, creators and makers call home. In this episode, we'll explore the Well Meadow and take a short stroll to get a glimpse of the surrounding beautiful architecture, enjoy tea and cake in a historic cafe, and ramble through Blairgowrie's first fair trade shop, marvel at traditional silversmithing, and finally, we'll witness the town's festive light display. Located at the foothills of the Cairngorm Mountains, Blairgowrie sits conveniently sheltered in a valley carved by the fast-flowing waters of the River Erwitt. The river was once used to power several textile mills and today it offers visitors scenic walks along its banks. Take a short stroll into town though and you'll find other activities that will keep you moving. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you today is the Well Meadow. It's a beautiful green space in the heart of the town and it used to be nothing more than a watering hole for cattle. Now many years ago farmers would bring their cattle here and they would drink out of this well and that would be it, there would be nothing else here, it would just be pure countryside, there would be no development. Now obviously it's a completely different picture, you can see beautiful green landscape and it's just a really nice place to come and watch the world go by and just get a, a, a feel for any cultural expressions that are happening in the town. Take a short stroll beyond the Well Meadow and you might discover some interesting architectural sites. Blagowie is full of historic buildings which mostly take the shape of various churches found scattered throughout the town. Eyes are drawn to Blagowie's parish church which towers above the town's skyline. The building of the church in James Street took about five months, costing £823. The church was opened for public worship in November of 1843. Built out of red sandstone and with seating of nearly 600, the church hall welcomes visitors and is used for social activities all year round. As you continue to walk the side streets, you'll notice a slight elevation which will reward you with scenic views of the nearby hills. Speaking of architecture, I'm now making my way into the heart of Blairgowrie Town Centre where we'll visit a cafe. This cafe specialises in homemade food and lovely tea. The great thing about this cafe is that it's a historic building in Blairgowrie which was opened by a guy called Frank Fasocci in 1905. Today the building is of historic significance due to its dome structure. The frontage of the now extended shop in Leslie Street was refaced with terrazzo which is typically Italian. Also at the time, the interior was laid out in typical Italian style with wooden booth seating, a very fine ornate counter and a beautiful domed roof and pillars were designed in the rear. In true Italian style, the Versace family sold a variety of soda drinks and were renowned for their delicious ice cream made on the premises to their own family recipe. Hard work, excellent service and first class products was of prominent importance to the family. Like the cafe, it has withstood the test of time and is as attractive today as when it was first built.
Well, how about that? That was actually a really nice cup of tea and cake. Now though, I'm off to see a local lady who runs her own small shop in the heart of Blairgowrie's town centre. Almost 10 years ago, Anna Bowman began her fair trade journey in Blairgowrie by opening the town's first fair trade shop, All Things Fair. I'm not from Blairgowrie, but I absolutely love living here. I think the town has a great vibrant feel. I think there's plenty to do. Being a retailer, obviously I love the high street. I think there's everything you need without ever having to leave Blairgowrie. And I'd always been interested in fair trade and just thought by buying a fair trade product, you were benefiting somebody else and getting something yourself at no extra expense. So it just seemed to be a win-win situation. And I was involved with an organisation called Tradecraft, who are one of the pioneers of fair trade, and, and thought, well, we've just got to go large, so opened a shop and haven't looked back since. By sourcing her products from reputable fair trade suppliers, Anna joins a large group of local Scottish businesses who see the importance of organic farming, sustainability and supporting the lives of small-scale growers and artisans locally and around the world. I think it's got a real community feel to it. There's so many groups and there's groups working together and lots of ideas and there's a lot happening and a lot happening to really promote the town and make it even better. Not only can you buy fair trade in Blairgowrie, you can also visit local makers, artists and crafters and visit them in their own studios. So that's what we're doing right now. We've just nipped across the road and we're going to a local silversmith to see if we couldn't find out how she goes about making some fine jewellery. Well, I went to Edinburgh College of Art and um, studied silversmithing there um, a long time ago. And then when I left, I worked for a company in Edinburgh for quite a few years. And then we moved um, out of the city and came to Blair Gallery about seven years ago. I was set up my own workshop to make my own things um, in a little room off the kitchen at home. Um, and it just kind of grew from there. I started doing Persia Rutten Studios. I started to get um, you know, customers wanting to come back for things. And so um, it got to a point where I felt I needed to be a bit more professional. And I wanted premises that um, people would know where I was and would come and look for me, um, but somewhere where I could work. So, um, and I was lucky enough to get this little shop on the high street. And it worked perfectly because um, people know I'm here because they pass on the high street every day and I think people like being able to come in and see where I work and how I work and what I do. So I really like Blair Gowrie as a place to live, it's a great place to bring kids up, there's plenty for them to do um, and I like the fact that it's quite a contained little town, there's you know, everything here um, that you would need and um, um, it's big enough that there's lots going on but small enough that um, it, you feel like part of the community so it's, it's a nice place to live. I hope that people will buy something that's going to last a lifetime that they will enjoy using um, but also you know that they can see see me working here and they can see um, the kind of thought process and the, the care and attention that's gone into making it. So. All the love and care that goes into those handcrafted bits of jewellery, um, it's incredible. I mean, it just shows you um, what you can get when you shop locally. The quality that you get is uh, something else compared to big retailers um, and big cities. Um, I, I love that experience. We're going to have a look at the lights because the lights are good and I'll show you them now. As you walk through the town and admire the festive light displays, imagine a 19th century scene of sweetie stands stretching up both sides of the high street. Gingerbread men, wandering hucksters, conjurers, half crown in the purse men and cheap jacks jostled with each other for their best stances. The smells of cattle, 
the hot food on offer and the smell of whiskey from the tents doing brisk business in the Well Meadow must really have assailed the nostrils. Today, the town takes great pride in its appearance and the festive season is no different. All the trees have got all the fairy lights on them. Not only that, is Bligawi has their own Christmas tree as well. Um, this was recently put up a few years ago um, and also behind it is the Angus Hotel which is all lit up as well and then just down this road here you've got the Bligawi Bridge which is all lit up too. So the lights in Bligawi at Christmas time are really nice, they're really beautiful. The message that I'm trying to get across today is is there anything that you can do this Christmas to shop locally? You know, can you not go on Amazon and not go to your nearest city and try and buy things locally from the local people who put so much love and effort into their craft every year? Every pound spent locally, 70 pence remains within the community. And if more people shop locally, more money remains in the community and the community thrives and becomes more prosperous as a result and we all benefit, we get to see more unique independent services come up in the local towns and it basically means we can access more unique things rather than go into the big cities. Definitely shop locally this Christmas and before I go, I hope you've enjoyed the five things to do in Blagowie if you come and visit here and I'll see you guys in January because episode two of the Blagowie series will come out in January. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you for episode two of the Black Airy series. Remember, the world's at your feet. Go and explore, try not to get too lost, and I'll see you at the next video. See you later.